Hey, what's going on guys? Dylan Spangenberg, Fitness TV here, and today I'm gonna go over with you some foods you need to be getting on the regular that are gonna help you get ready for the summer. Okay, so the first food that you're gonna want on your list is gonna be actually these uh, flavored tuna creations. Now the macros on these are really, really good. You're actually gonna see only four grams of carbs and 16 grams of protein. Now what I like to do to even up that protein to carb ratio just a little bit is I'll actually put the whole pack of tuna onto two rice cakes. Now the rice cakes are gonna add another 16 grams of carbs and with that additional gram of protein is gonna give you about a one to one ratio, which is gonna help you have the most protein absorption. And it's also very filling and satisfying and tasty when you have these two things put together. I like the sweet and spicy on the white cheddar. I think you guys should definitely try it out for yourself as well. The next thing on our list is actually gonna be just some stewing beef. Now, I prefer this to normal steaks because it's really easy to prepare. It's all chunked up. All you gotta do is throw it in the pan with some non-low uh, sodium spices. And you're actually gonna be able to uh, make some really solid meal preps out of this. This stuff is, uh, it's not super pricey. It's definitely worth it for me. This is a ton. This is probably like, you know, between five and seven meals worth. And I, I paid 10 bucks for it, so. You know, it might seem expensive, but it's definitely worth it with the amount of meals you get out of it. The next food on our list is going to be some chicken breast fillets. And now, I like to get the fillets, again, for convenience. You don't have to do any of the trimming. You're not paying for any of the fat. You're just going to cut off and throw away. So you're actually going to be able to, you know, sometimes I like to bread them, and sometimes I'll just bake them with some lemon and pepper. There's a million different ways you can prepare chicken and it always comes out good. And I always have a couple of those on hand. The next thing on our list is gonna be crucial and whatever protein goals you need to make up for the day, you can definitely get back from your egg whites. Now you wanna watch out for most egg whites cause you're gonna see a whole bunch of ingredients but not on this brand right here. The only ingredient is 100% liquid egg whites. You got five grams of protein per serving, zero grams of carbs, and a couple other uh, micronutrients, but this is definitely a staple in any cutting diet. And I like to go for the all whites because it is exactly what it says it is, and it's 100% liquid egg whites. The next thing on our list is actually gonna be Arctic Zero. Now this flavor is pretty solid and I like to get the Arctic Zero because sometimes you know when you're living in Georgia at the end of a hot day you definitely want some ice cream. Now if you go for the Arctic Zero even if even if you already eat the whole pint you're only going to get 300 calories and the macros on this are pretty good as well. They add a little bit of sugar but there's also some fi uh, some solid soluble fiber, some insoluble fiber as well as some protein. So this isn't gonna ruin your whole day. I usually only eat about half of this, so I'm really only getting 150 calories every time I sit down and eat it. The next thing on our list is gonna be Chobani's Greek yogurt. I like Chobani just because it's a good, well-known brand that tastes good. We take a look at the label on this. You got 12 grams of protein and 18 grams of carbs, so Especially in the morning, it's not bad to get a couple extra grams of carbs in. Now on a pretty pretty standard cutting diet, like I said, that, that one to one ratio is not a bad thing. So going for that one to one, maybe a little bit more carbs and protein is okay. But definitely looking for foods where the protein and the carbs match up you know, pretty closely. And this Greek yogurt's definitely a good example of that. Now something that I eat a lot of that a lot of people aren't eating is actually gonna be kefir. Now the reason I'm eating this, I'm actually making my smoothies with it, is because it contains a lot of probiotics. Now when you're on a higher protein diet, your digestive system can get all messed up sometimes, but the protein kefir is actually gonna have 
a lot of digestive enzymes that you're not going to get in your diet normally. So you have 12 live and active cultures in just this beverage. And if you consume the whole thing, you're actually getting 40 grams of protein and also 40 grams of carbs in it. Just like I said before, you get that one to one ratio, which is going to really help you recover post workout. And now the last essential that you're going to want in your diet is actually going to be some protein powder. Now I like first form protein powder and the reason I like it is because it tastes really good and the protein is also slow cooked. And what that means is they're not denaturing the product in that cooking process of the protein. So the protein that you're consuming, there's a really high absorption rate and also any protein goals that you need to make up. This has 24 grams in it and it only has four grams of carbs. So the extra grams of carbs that I got from maybe the yogurt and a couple of the, and the rice cakes, I'm making back up here to get myself back to that one to one ratio. Now First Form is a really good brand and everything by them I definitely trust. And this vanilla ice cream protein, I'm actually gonna do a review on in the near future. So definitely look out for that one guys. But all right guys, aside from that, you know, those are a lot of foods that I buy on the regular. I keep buying them every single week, and my cut's actually been going really well. I'm definitely going to give you guys a little bit of a physique update in the near future. I think I'm about four weeks out of being where I want to be, so definitely look out for that. These are some foods that are definitely going to help you lean out for the summer. And if you make a big diet change like that, you're actually going to see a lot of progress really fast. You can totally cut down for the summer. So this is Dylan Spangenberg, Fitness TV. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Thanks again for watching. Peace out.